Hi, this is Dorothy with Dot Scrapbooking, and I am here to do the October subscription layout. So we've got two, one, and two. So here's layout one, and let me just show you what pieces come with this subscription. So this is my annual subscription. I get an annual subscription. And this is layout one and this is layout two. And these are the stickers for layout one and layout two. And here are the background pages for layout one. And here are the background pages for layout two. So I am going to set those aside and do layout one. Oh, and here's our little picture. Uh, this is gonna go with this one. And this is also gonna go, and this one is gonna go with layout two. So, let's see what we have here. First of all, the triangle goes down here, and the close side goes over on the left. So let me just put those like that, and uh, this one is going to go right over to the very edge. I'll set this aside. So let me go ahead and put this down. Oh, wow. Hello. Okay, so this is going to go ah like this. We've got our journaling lines up here and no stitch lines over on this side. And it's just going to go down like a box and a tad from the edge. So right over here is what I'm looking at is one little graph mark and a little bit. Let me try coming down just a tad. That might be a tad too much. Okay, so we've got... <coughs> Pardon me. I'm still coughing a little bit. Not much, though. Okay, I'm going to put my little picture keepers down here. And there's going to be one, two, three of these little chevrons showing. And it goes all the way up almost to right under the journaling lines. So I'm going to put it right there. And then we've got a four by six that is going to line up just over, just a little bit over. Actually, it's going to line up with the bottom, so that makes it pretty simple to just kind of line it up with the bottom there. Okay, and we have a little bit sticking out over here, and now we need, let me go ahead and take out the die cuts. So that's going to be, this one's going to go over here. And we've got Hello Pumpkin, little phrase, and we've got some cute little triangles that are going in here. Kind of reminds me of, there's some like little road signs that are like these triangles. 
I'm just popping out the center of them and putting them over here. I don't even know whether I use those yet or not. We have another circle. And a, here's what happened. Whoops. And hard to, uh, don't want to miss my arrow here. Okay. Set that aside. So here's what happened. It goes right here. And so let's just So I'm lining it up with this edge here, doing it just like that, and this is going to go right over here. So this comes together very easily. The little tag going down towards the bottom, and it's sort of centered, it looks like to me. So like right around in there. And I'm snugging it right up to the paper. And see these triangles? are like one is going to go here and one is going to go like that and then we've got some more little triangles that are going let's see like this and then there's a sticker for over here and then we've got some stickers that are gonna go, so these are gonna be little like date type stickers and I'm just gonna line that right up with the edge here. I'm not gonna measure it or anything, I'm just eyeballing it. And then this other little tag, they use it for just kind of a little subtitle, pumpkin patch. And I am going to line it up with, let's see. like right in here, like that. And there's some dots, where are the dots? Here are dots, a whole bunch of dots. I think these would be easier to put on with a, a tweezer. Let's see, I need a little. I'm going to use this to put some stickum on the back, and I'm going to do it like right there, and that's going to get. I'm going to go up like this. And add a little Tombow onto this one, and he's going to go right in here. I'm going to set this little thing aside. And we've got all sorts of dots that are going to go in here. Now this is going to go, I'm going to pop this up with a foam square from leftovers from a uh, shaker window. So I'm just gonna put that aside for over here. This is gonna be for over there also. So all of these little things go on the right-hand page. Okay, the arrow is going over there too. Okay, so we've got, we need another triangle that's coming off of here. And I like that this is a sticker, so I don't have to put any any uh, Tombow on it. And then we have a gray sticker that is going to go just like that. So we've got a little triangle of triangles.
and more dots. So we have one, two, three, four. We've got our three triangles. We've got our tag here for a date. Um, picture, picture, uh, journaling piece, and then the tag over here. And I am going to put this aside and get the second page out. So this is going to go in this orientation. And we've got, how is this going to go? Like this? It looks like it just goes right along. Well, that makes it just super simple to just run it right along the, follow the diagonal. So here. To there. So that is simple. Now, what would be better is if I, <laughs> I am so true to form, I tell you. Okay, so this is a new tool, and I think they made this for me because, oh my goodness, how many times do I put things where I shouldn't? And so this is going to help me pull up the things that I stuck down before I should have. Right? Kind of scooch under a little bit. Lift it up. It does work well. I'll, I'll say that. Okay, so I'm going to put this like this so it hangs a little bit over. So let me just add some, some Tombow onto that and put it... like this. And then I'm going to flip this over and add Tombow and just kind of, how am I going to do this? I think I'll just kind of do it like that. There we go. And then here's my Hello Pumpkin. I'll put that in place. Now, this is why you should always look at your instructions first, right? That's what you should do because my little arrow here actually is supposed to go right under I should have put it down before I put the foam piece down. And so I'm going to try to lift it up. I'm, look at how much I use this tool. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> This is a very handy tool to have. It's brand new in our new catalog. Um, and yeah, I'm not even sure what it's called, but it sure is handy dandy. Um, you've got a, a flat but thin area, kind of pointy, so you can get you know, under things easily. And then you've got a flat area with a wider thing to, to help you lift things up. So, like I said, I think that this tool was built for me. Because there's, I don't think I do a page where I'm not doing and then undoing. It just seems to be what happens to me because I don't look ahead and read the instructions. What can I say? Okay, I'm coming down to, I'm going to do like, right down the center of these chevrons, the second line in. 
and then these are my reminder pieces so once again I'm going to line up with the second line of chevrons right at the tip of them so I can make them even And then the other, let's see, it's going to go like two chevrons over. And I think I'm going to line up with those chevrons. Like that. Okay, so now here we're going to get... A triangle. These are just kind of interesting, aren't they? Just little geometric points of interest. And then one point and one up and one down. And then we've got a whole bunch of dots. Now, let's see, let's go ahead and put these down too. So we've got another sticker that's going to go down here. And this is going to line up like with the end of the picture here. So sort of like that. And you can really use these grid lines to help you line things up and get them straight. And here's my other sticker. And it just pretty much comes down like that. So we've got this and this and these and these. And then we've got a couple of little journaling little journaling pieces to give you dates and where you are. And then we're going to fill in with some more dots here. So we're using all of the stickers from, from Project 1, or Layout 1. Okay, so this is going to go like up in here, and one over here, and then a bigger one here. So we've got a triangle here. And then one more. Well, hmm. Okay, so up here. Are we missing one? Ah, we are missing one. It's right here. Okay, I didn't see that. Okay, so here we go down here. So, okay, we've got all of the parts of the layout one and all of the die cuts. We don't use these little tiny triangles. I mean, you can keep them if you want, but I've got enough. So here is layout one for, for October. Let me just come up a bit. So layout one for October. Okay, so what I might do uh, later is add some additional, because um, I have these embellishments that would look quite nice on, on here, and it would add a little glitz and glam. Could even put them on there, like that. Just add a little thing to those little plain white dots to make them stick out more. That would be kind of fun.
That one's kind of small. And there's little pearls and everything. It's really meant for um, shakers, but totally okay for this use. Anyway, we'll see. I need to make a shaker with that because they are so cute. Okay, let's get to page two. Okay, let me go ahead and take out these pieces and then I can throw that piece away. Little Peep is down below me. She got me up twice last night. 1.30, 2.45. It's like having an infant except instead of feeding, I've got to let her out. What can I say? I'm too old for that. All right, so here we go. Um, we have on this side, this looks like this is page two, and this is page one. How is that going? Like this is how that's going. Okay, I can do that. Okay, I am just lining it right up with the edge of the gray. And then I've got, let me put this over here. This is going to go in here. So it's gonna be one and three fourths inches over from the side, which is like right here. And that sort of lines up with this line and then two and seven eighths, one, two, and right in here. So that's like right in here. I'm gonna just go with it right here. Okay. Hold my finger on it so I can remember. So that's gonna be like right in here. So once again, we have a grid pattern with straight lines. Pretty, They're pretty straight lines. So, I mean, that definitely makes it easier. I'm going to go ahead and put this little corner piece, this little pie-shaped piece is going to go right in here. Just like that. So we've got this. We've got a little flag that's going to go this way. I'll go ahead and put him on. Looks a little bit longer. This is a shorter one. Let me put that one over here. Okay, so that one's gonna go. Thank you, little tool. This tool is coming in very handy. Okay, what else do we have? We need we need stickers. So we need this piece, which is going to go like right in here. And then the blue little tag is just going to be a tad over, about that much. Whoops. And this is going to, well, as usual, right? I am so true to form. 
Okay, so this, hmm, so the, the picture goes here. So let me see, because I've already screwed up. The picture is going to go, oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong page. Okay, so I don't use, never mind. I'm going to stick that to my camera stand and pull this one off. So I can fix this. I'm going to do this. Mm. It should go underneath this. Let's see. How easy will this come up? That's all going to be undercover. Do as I say, not as I do. Then I covered this guy up, you know. I didn't even realize I was going over this little tag here. My gosh. This is just, okay, so I understand that I am embarrassed. I am loony enough, or I have a, enough sanity to be embarrassed about my actions here. Hey, so here we go. This way, the straight edge goes along there. Okay. And then there's three little strips that are going to go here. You know, these are really easy to do. It's just that I try to do them too quickly, I think. And apparently I can't multitask anymore. Okay, so I'm helping the, me line things up by using these little lines over here. Okay, so now we've got um, some of these little things that are, one's going to go here, like right in here, and it looks like this goes over it and someplace I've got some small dots. Where are they? So I'm going to raise it up a little bit. And there are That's going to go like that. And then they've got some stickers, little black dot stickers that are going to go right in the center. Well, hello. Right in the center of there. And then we've got this guy who also has one of these. So this is going to go...
like this, and then it gets a big dot right in the middle of it like that. And so I am going to go ahead and put it up on a, on a little foam dot. Here they are. That's going to go on there like that. And then this one goes right in here. I'm going to put it right in. So it looks just about equidistant. It doesn't have to be. And then we're missing a flag. And here's this little flag. And he's going to go right just like that. And then we've got a title here that says, Remember. So, this says, Stuff Good Remember. Stuff the Good Remember. I don't know what stuff the means. But I'm just going to start lining up, and I'm going to use... my little tweezer to help me line these things up and just kind of pop them off <clears throat> push them up oh so on the other side it says the good stuff oh so this is remember the good stuff I'll come around Okay. So there's a new commercial out on about gain detergent, and they use the flash dance. Um, music and so they have this kind of little thing where they're doing a bit of flash dance with the game commercial it's really really funny uh, but it it made my husband and I want to go and watch flash dance again because it's only been it was made in 1983 which boggles the mind Okay, so there's remember. Okay, page one is done. And here comes page two. So this goes like this. This comes off of my camera stand. And here comes, so the little picture is going to go like this. So you want to just kind of put it evenly in between the top and the bottom here. And then run your scallop edge along the edge of the picture. Let's see if I can do this one without pulling stuff up. No guarantee, just saying. You know, it could be. That the corner was supposed to go down here and the half circle was supposed to go, you know? It's just sad. And so what I can do here is kind of cut this in half, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so blanket apology. 
I don't know if I got anything right on this. Okay, so that's like a little over four inches of a circle. I'm gonna cut it down to about two inches, maybe a little bit more. And that's how that's gonna go. So the point of me showing you all of this is to let you know that you can make mistakes and recover from them. That did I didn't mean for that to be the point, but that's apparently that's apparently what I need to have happen is to show you how you can messing up isn't you can always recover from from it. So the green little strip goes up here and this is going to go right on top of it like right here where you can put a little date or the place and then you want the flag to go underneath here so see I still have to pull something up okay so that's going like that and then there's going to be three pictures going down here, here, and here. So these are So the thing to do is to put a top one down and the bottom one down and then do the middle one equidistant. Okay, so some of the other things that we have are this. This little journaling tag is going to go under the picture. So that goes over at an angle like that. And a little green and our little kind of a smoothie color that goes on top of the green. And another black dot which is right here and it needs to get popped up I like it, I want it to be popped up. So I'm gonna put a little foam dot on there. So that's gonna go and it is going to land right here. And I'm just gonna scooch it down so that the picture can go underneath easily. And then we've got this little, I don't know what to call this. But this is going to go on here. In the middle, and that one is going to go down here. And then we've got... Okay, first I'm gonna put good, I think. And kind of do it right in here and just not press it down.
It's funny because they've got they have it as stuff the good remember. So I'm gonna put. Arrow. She sounds like a cat, doesn't she? Okay, so I'm gonna line up these the stuff letters down on this line here. So whenever you can try to make it easy on yourself with a, you know, some help with the paper, the design being a regular one that gives you kind of a straight line, uh, you know, just make life easy on yourself. Life is difficult enough. I mean, I've got, took Jim to the doctor today. He hurt his shoulder doing work with the RV. And so now he's got tendonitis and bursitis in his one shoulder, so he's kind of down for the count. And uh, he got his regular flu shot. We both go in on Friday to get our flu shots. I've got a doctor's appointment next week to see my surgeon. And is this it? So, I mean, we've got all these doctor's appointments lined up. I just, it drives me crazy. I hate, I don't know, I can't, I shouldn't complain because you know what, we're alive and that's a good thing, so never mind what I was going to say. <laughs> okay, so here are the two pages for layout two. Okay, so This one, you know what, I just want to do something with these. And I've got this black onyx pearl. Uh, these are liquid pearls. So this is the black. Um, and, uh, you know, these black dots are just kind of boring, and I just smushed. I just got a little piece there. And so I just kind of want to make a large black pearl. And it's going to have to sit out and dry for quite a while. But I'm going to make, kind of fill in, do something with this flat black dot. Because boring. I'm just smushing the the uh, glue around and I want to add another little black dot here just to add a little bit of dimension and I could put some black dots because those white balls at the end of that flag don't really show up very much. So I think I'll add some black to that also. Well, that looks better. At least they show up now. And just to keep the continuity going, I'll put a little dot at the end of each of the little journaling pieces. Like that. So you can't really see too well on what I'm doing here. So this is what I've done. I've added some little dots to the end of the journaling. I've added black liquid pearls onto the dull black dot, and I've added some liquid pearls to this little black dot, and I added a little blob of black pearl to this white end of the flag that looked very boring. And then on this side, I did the same thing over here, adding a little dot so at least shows up, and some nice black pearl onto the center of that, because, I mean, it's just a flat disc and looks really boring, and then some black right there. And so just a little, not much, but just something to make it pop a little bit. It could certainly be embellished a whole lot more than that. So... They are going to be set aside to dry because they're going to take a while to dry. Okay, 
So now, okay, look at this. Okay, so this is a new tool also. And you get two sticks, and it's called a, it's called a pickup tool. So, um, and it was not a lot of money. I mean, it was like two, 275 or something like that. Uh, don't quote me on that. Anyway, so it looks like a pencil, right? And I thought, well, what the heck? How do you do this? And so you sharpen the pencil, and it's just paper on a wax stick. So you can pick things up like the sequin, and it kind of sticks to it. And so you just run it through a pencil sharpener. Now, I think that's pretty darn cool. So the thing that um, I think I want to do is maybe put a little dot of glue and a little dot of glue. These white discs that are just plain white discs are just bothering me because they're so boring. And so I think what I'm going to do is add sequins to them. So I'm just putting a little dab of my Tombow glue. And I'm going to pick that up and place it there. Now where's my box? Here it is. Okay, I'm just picking them up out of the out of my little box here. I don't know whether the glue isn't catching it. Just going to put a little bit out, and the pearl is rolling away. Come here. Okay, so I'm just going to start sticking. And this color just goes great with this layout. It's kind of hard to tell whether the sequins are cup side up or down. Okay, I'm just putting those in place. Oh, this just adds a little bit of shine to uh, to this page. I I like it, and I think what I'm gonna do. Whoops, I missed one. Gonna put a leaf here. And this is fun. And maybe a leaf down here. And a leaf up here. 
just some random leaves. Ah! Oh! Whoops, excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dogs. Dogs scared me. What's the matter down there? Huh? What's going on? Goodness gracious. Make me holler. Okay. You are silly dogs. I apologize. <laughs> I didn't mean to scream in your ear. Okay. Here's what I've done. Let me give you a close-up. Whoops. There's an extra sequin on there. Okay, so I've just added a little bit of sequin onto the, the dots just to add a little shiny. Just a little bit of shiny onto these pages. And so instead of having the flat discs, we're having some sequins on top of them with some little leaves because it is fall. And it says, hello, pumpkin. So I'm going to let these sit out and dry. And I tell you what, I like, I like my two new tools. I like my pickup tool. And I like this thing to help me. This helps me pick up stuff that I can't pick up. And this helps me lift up things that I've put down too quickly. So, um, woohoo, I'm happy. You know what? This is pretty. This is rose gold. Wonder how this looks on here. Whoops, I just splattered. Oh, that's like the little pearls. Okay, I'm adding some rose gold on here because it's fun. These are the rose gold liquid pearls. So I've used the rose gold liquid pearls and the black onyx liquid pearls. And then my two, my new pickup tool and my new oops tool. I'm going to call this my oops tool. So there we go. So thanks a lot. This is Dorothy signing out. Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, give me a thumbs up if you if you think <laughs> that I still have half a brain. Bye. Hi, this is Dorothy, and I'm back again. It's the next day, and. I decided I kind of liked the way my sequins looked, and so I decided to put a few more on. So I kind of spilled some and then just kind of scattered them around a little bit. So what I'm going to do is uh, just add a little glue, use my handy little new tool, and just kind of place the sequins kind of where they are. So I am going to continue to do this and I just thought I would show you. It definitely livens up the dark background and uh, coordinates with the colors. So I kind of, I really, I like it. And I've got so many of these sequins that, um, you know, you rather, you want to, I've said this before, you want to use up, using up your, your stash of stuff is a good thing. That one's already stuck. And it's not like it takes a whole lot of glue here. I'm just putting a, teensy teensy little bit down and I love how easily this little the pickup tool 
actually works. And, you know, when it starts becoming so that it doesn't stick, then you can just um, run it through a pencil sharpener. And I just used a manual pencil sharpener. Uh, so I, I do, I'm going to try one of these, putting one of these little pearls down. Oh, and it picks up the pearl too. Ooh, cool. Oh, that, I'm in love. I'm in love. This is wonderful. Little one is a little tough. So how nice to have a little bit of sparkle with a dark background. I mean, that just kind of really, well, it provides, number one, it provides great contrast and just perks everything up. That's upside down. Kind of hard to stick them when the curved side is up. Come on. You see how light they are? Just a little poof of air from the from the glue moved the sequin. Okay, I really, really like this. So I am going to continue and put some on the second page. But I just wanted to share this with you with these wonderful sequins uh, that are in our, our um, seasonal catalog, the September-October catalog. So thanks for watching. Bye.